Now I would like to discuss the current spiritual time that we are in. In the Bible, we know uh, when it, with regard to the children of Israel, the children of Israel was led uh, by Moses for 40 years. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad training and raising by Master Farad Muhammad, a law in person, was completed in 1934. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught and led the nation of Islam from 1934 to 1974, which is exactly uh, 40 years. In the Bible, the children of Israel, after Moses left after 40 years of, le of leading them, uh, they rejected Moses. And as a result, God punished them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. In the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 27, we have, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation, which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness. But your little ones, which you have said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which you have despised. But as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness, and your children shall wander in the, in the wilderness for forty years, and bear your whoredoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad referred to America as the wilderness of North America. And it is in this wilderness that we, the black man and woman of America, or scripturally the children of Israel, have been wandering uh, since 1974. Uh, the Honorable Muhammad warned us concerning uh, the story of the children of Israel. He said that the same thing has come upon us. So, if God said, and he has said, that we belong to him, Oh, crazy. You're right. marks the 40th year since the last address of Allah's last messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, given in 1974, wherein he stated the following, and that we want to say to you that is visiting us that probably comes from overseas, we want you to know that you are at the setting of the sun, 
but that sun is rising again. It's set, but she's rising again, bringing us in a new day, the coming of God, the coming of our Savior. He is not a spook. If the sun is yet to rise, it is night. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was with us during the night. So how does the scripture refer to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and this night? In the Holy Quran, chapter 86, we have chapter 86, known as the Comer by Night, Al-Tariq. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, by the Heaven and the Comer by Night. And what will make thee know what the Comer by Night is? The Star of Piercing Brightness. Al-Tariq, or the Star of Piercing Brightness, refers to the Morning Star. The Morning Star announces the coming of the Sun. So we see here that the comer by night, according to scripture, would refer to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. After uh, Venus, uh, Venus or Jupiter or the morning star rises, then you don't need no more star to rise, to rise after that star because the sun going to rise. Is that right? <laughs> About two hours, a little better than two hours, uh, uh, even less sometimes. The sun is rising. Is that right? That's the last one, huh? So your Bible is, uh, is, is written pretty good, if you understand it. Elijah, it says, uh, is the last one. And behind Elijah, it said, the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come. Is that right? The time of the morning star light during the night is about two hours. Since we know that the coming by night or the morning star is spiritually referring to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, what does the two hours spiritually refer to? The Bible in 2 Peter verse, uh, chapter 3 verse 8 reads, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Well, that would mean uh, that an hour in, in terms of a day with the Lord if we divide uh, 24 into 1,000, we get approximately 41.6. So every hour, so what I'm trying to tell you is, the book says that uh, a day with the Lord is as a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. Well, we measure a day by 24 hours. So we, if we divide 24 into a thousand years, Okay, so every hour in terms of the, a day with the Lord is 41.6 years. The time of the morning star light during the night is about two hours. Since we know that the coming by night or the morning star is spiritually referring to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, what does the two hours spiritually refer to? So spiritually speaking, the morning star's light or the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings will shine for 83 years. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is the comer by night. But what night? We turn our attention to the, uh, the 97th chapter of the Holy Quran. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, surely we revealed it on the night of majesty. And what will make thee comprehend what the night of majesty is? The night of majesty is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend in it by the permission of their lords for every affair. Peace, it is till the rising of the morning. So what is the night of majesty? The word majesty refers to a king, lord, or god. Jesus gave us a hint about the night of majesty. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 43, we have, But know this, that if the good men of the house had known, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and that and what uh, watch the thief would come, he would have watched and wouldn't have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be you also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. For <clears throat> and then we have in Matthew chapter twelve verse eight, for the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. We also have in the book of Thessalonians. Uh, chapter 5 verse 2 for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord 
uh, so cometh as a thief in the night. In the book of Revelation, we have the following in chapter 19, starting in verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings. Excuse me, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So now we know that the majesty refers to the Son of Man. And what is the Son of Man's name? And I saw written on his thigh, Kings of Kings. Lords of Lords, and I, uh, and he had another name that no man knew but he himself. <laughs> That's the name out of the, or other is not numbered in the uh, 100 attributes of God's name. Therefore, the scientists didn't know what his name was. This, uh, it is not coming under uh, none of these attributes that make up God's name. <laughs> what is his name, then, Elijah, that you uh, represent it? He came to, uh, uh, in the name of Farad. So we identify that this son of man, this majesty, is Master Farad Muhammad. Master Farad Muhammad came as a thief, in disguise as a silk peddler. He found Elijah Muhammad in 1931. We could not see Master Farad Muhammad. We were in the dark. We were in the night of majesty. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad seen him and identified him in 1931. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad began to shine in this night in 1931. And what will make thee comprehend what the night of majesty is? The night of majesty is better than a thousand months. How long is a thousand months? The night of majesty is 83 years the same number of years uh, that the comer by night or the morning star shines two spiritual hours 83 years the night of majesty is from 1931 to 2014 83 years what does the holy quran tell us about the night of majesty peace it is till the rising of the morning what did the comer by night tell us about god or his majesty and that we want to say to you that is visiting us, that probably comes from overseas. We want, uh, excuse me, we want you to know that you are at the setting of the sun. But that sun is rising again. It's set, but she's rising again. Bringing us in a new day. The coming of God. The coming of our Savior. He is not a spook. And that uh, we want to say to you that is visiting us that probably come from overseas. We want you to know that you at the setting of the sun. Yes, sir. But that sun is rising again. Yes, sir. It's set, but she rising again. Yes, sir. Bringing us in a new day. The coming of God. Yes, the coming of our Savior. Go ahead, Apostle. He's not a spook. Right. 